Hi loves, so we got a whole bunch of packages. You guys can't see me. <laughs> I just busted my face on this table. Anyways guys, how's your day going so far? I got a whole bunch of packages. I left them at my front door because there's so much to carry in. So let's open it together, shall we? This is so cute. I love when brands do stuff like this. Like put your name and stuff. Eyeshadow palette, box some hot toddy. I love shades like this. I love the earth tones, the light pinks. I really wasn't vibing with my hair up. It was starting to hurt because I pulled it back so hard. So I just put it down. This one is from Revolve. I got a whole bunch of clothes from there and I'm so excited. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's like this glittery dress. I should try on all of these for you guys. I'm excited. Do you guys do that too? Every time I get new clothes, I have to try them on right away. I'm so excited. I actually wasn't expecting it to be glittery like this. It didn't look like that in the pictures. We love it. That's the small box. There's another big box. I honestly don't remember everything that I ordered, but we're going to find out, huh? I also got a whole bunch of glasses from Zilul. Zilul is an eyewear brand that has eyewear for all of your needs, including sunglasses, prescription glasses. I got a bunch of blue light blocking glasses. I noticed that I work a lot in front of a screen and I need to protect my eyesight, so I got like four different pairs of blue light blocking glasses. I also got Mama and Baba some glasses, so I'm so excited. I can't wait to try these on for you. The cool thing about Zilul glasses is that you could pick any frame and put whatever lens you want in them. For example, I picked blue light blocking because I don't wear prescription glasses, but if you do wear prescription glasses and you really like these frames, you can totally get that lens, or you can make them sunglasses, you can customize. All of the Zilul glasses are super affordable. They have their own assembly line, so all of the prices on their site is a lot more affordable than your typical retail sites. Okay, so let's try these on. I love these. This is the Fidalia in black. As I mentioned before, these are blue light blocking. I did get these for when I'm on my computer or even at night when I'm watching TV or just scrolling on my phone. That light is so bad for our eyesight, guys. I do definitely want to protect my eyes as much as I can. I got a whole bunch so I could keep one in my living room next to my nightstand for when I'm scrolling at night. I try not to do that a lot, but sometimes I find myself doing that. These ones are the Hillary in the color Crystal. I did get a bunch of larger frames because I don't usually do that, but I'm starting to really like them. I did get another similar one. This one that doesn't have the shape on the side. See how this one, I call this the butterfly because it kind of looks like a butterfly to me. And then these ones are more square shaped. This one is the crystal, similar, but a little different. I love how the side is gold. And then this one is my absolute favorite that I got. So this is called the Rods in the shade Purple. My favorite part is the size. It has the glitter. I'll try this on for you guys. I love these. Let me show you the ones that I got from Mama and Baba. I wanted to show you guys all of the glasses that I tried close up so all of these are the blue light blocking glasses and then these ones are the ones that i got from mama and baba these are actually the same i love these frames so much that i got the prescription reading glasses from mama and these ones are mine and i also got these for baba these are both reading glasses that's one thing that i definitely do love about zilul is that all of their frames again are interchangeable fitting your needs so if you guys want to try any of the glasses from zilul make sure you click Click the link in my description box. Also, I do have a coupon code for you guys. Yasmin K gets you 10% off the site. I saw this mocha recipe online and I really wanted to make it. I have a bunch of work to get done today and I really want a yummy drink to get me through. Oh guys, also, I remember in my last video, I told you guys how my computer kept crashing. So I decided to get a new computer that is a whole story time within itself. So let me grab my coffee and, and, and I'll tell you guys all about it. Okay, so here's what we have for our mocha recipe. I have this hot chocolate. I personally think Ghirardelli makes the best chocolate. Even the chocolate chips, if you guys are baking cookies or whatever it may be, Ghirardelli is the best. I also made some coffee, I have some milk, 
and some chocolate syrup. Guys, I love Nesquik. It truly brings me back to my childhood. I love the cocoa powder that you could mix in the milk. It was my favorite. Also, this is plain black hot coffee. I haven't added anything to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the cocoa first and then we're gonna put some coffee inside. So first we're gonna add about six ounces of milk. Heat it up. Now I'm gonna add some of the hot cocoa mix. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. Kinda wanna add more. You guys know I love my chocolate. Ooh. Go one, two. Oh my gosh, this already smells good. I love the smell of chocolate. Now we just mix it. Now that our hot cocoa is all heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the black coffee. Okay, so I filled up my mason jars with ice. Smells like chocolate deliciousness. Watch this spill everywhere. <laughs> Be real careful. Wasn't bad. Okay, next one. Mm. Y'all didn't see that, okay? Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> it's okay, I'll wipe it down. I went ahead and added whipped cream. Forgot to show you guys, it was in the fridge. Now I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of syrup. Oh my God, this looks so good. <gasps> you guys, it's so cute. Okay, moment of truth, let's try this. Wow, you guys. This is better than the coffee shop. Hmm. I am sitting on my actually new computer, but guys, story time. Okay, so I went to Apple to get a new laptop. I had the MacBook Pro, but it's a lot older. I think I got my laptop 2017. They were telling me that it was before I'm gonna say it so I don't speak computer, so I feel like I'm gonna say the wrong thing. But pretty much it's an older model. So then I was looking at all of the different computers and for me, portability is very important. I need a computer that I can just put in my bag. I travel with it. I need a computer that is lighter, but also efficient. They showed me all of these different laptops, but they were a lot heavier, so I it, it just wouldn't work for me. So when I said that I need a computer that I can take with me everywhere, he suggested the Mac Air. I had the MacBook Pro, but like I told you guys, my battery is dead on that. So I wanted a new computer or I could have replaced the battery. But from what he told me, since 2017, they made so many upgrades to the laptops. So it's better to get a new laptop, which now thinking in hindsight, he was trying to sell to me and I fell for it. Good job, Yasmin. So I did get the MacBook Air, but I got the M2, which he explained that was a bit better than my Pro. I'm sitting there, I'm transferring everything from my old laptop to my new laptop because I had a lot of stuff on there that I needed transferred. And there was a lady walking by and she's like, so what's going on here? And I'm like, oh, I just got this new laptop. She's like, girl, you went from a pro to an air? And she was an Apple worker. And I'm like, yeah, why? She's like, a MacBook Pro is way better than your air. And then the guy that was selling to me, he's like, no, like this is a lot better for her. And the girl was like, no. I looked at the girl and said, help me out because I'm going by what he said. These are my needs. These are my wants out of a laptop. And this is what he suggested. And they were going back and forth with each other for a minute. But then at the end, she did say, try this laptop out. So I do have 14 days to try out the laptop. If I don't like it for any reason, I can return it, which is great. So I've been working on it ever since. And I truly do love this laptop. It is portable. It it's good for me but when she said that it's still in the back of my mind so if you guys know a lot about laptops help your girl out should i exchange it for a pro or keep it what should i do you guys hmm? 
so I'll let your girl know. But this is my MAC Air. I'm telling you, I love it. Now, mind you, this is the second level up. I don't know exactly what the specifications is, but I know it's not the first, it's the second model. I believe it's called M2 from what I remember. So if you guys love computers or know much about computers, let your girl know in the comments below. All right, guys, I'm gonna drink my coffee. I feel like it's all melted by now. Get some work done, and then I'll see you guys in just a minute. I also really wanted to try my stuff from Revolve real quick. Get my box cutter. Put it away too soon. Such a big box. Let's see what we have. Guys, I love these jeans from Girlfriend. These are the ones that I always get tailored. I think that's how you say Girlfriend. These are all from Revolve, by the way. I got this turtleneck and the back is open i got a lot of stuff for the colder months i will be traveling maybe to ohio or something in december i know that for sure and i literally don't have anything for winter time miami doesn't really get too cold the coldest i've seen it here is maybe 55 60 and it's not even it's jacket weather you guys i think we love it what do you guys think doesn't look good with these joggers but think of some skinny jeans with some boots see the back oh, that's so cute so warm i'm already heating up i'm like legit sweating you guys i don't own anything this color it's like a mustardy brown we have a little turtleneck situation going on all of these items that i'm trying on do not look the best with joggers. I don't know why I decided to put this on today. It's like a mustardy brown. Like a brown sugar mustard color. What do we think? This one is a little bodysuit action. Super stretchy. Revolve sizes do tend to run big. This is pretty big for an extra small, don't you guys think? I spoke too soon. It's a bit tight. <sighs> zip this up. I don't want to flash you guys. Oh, we got it. It's a bodysuit again, but I'm not going to show you guys. It's a lower half. It's one of those that you have to kind of get yourself in and zip it up. But once it's on, it fits you perfectly because it's stretchy. Next thing I got is this little black long sleeve dress. I did wear one of those super low plunge bra with this, but I feel like it makes it too much. I may even sew it. That, that would be cute. Looking at it again, it looks like Elvira. It looks like a Halloween costume. Oh my gosh, now I can't unsee it. Okay, never mind. I'm kind of iffy about this dress. Next one. Next thing I'm gonna try on are these jeans. I get them big on purpose, just so I can tailor it. I don't really have to try these on. Actually, never mind. I have to try stuff on. Let's try it on. So maybe just tuck in the back. My problem area is the length of the pants usually because I'm 5'2 and jeans are usually too long for me. Next thing we got is this beautiful brown dress. This is probably one of my favorite things that I got. I love this color. It's like a brownish red next thing i'm gonna try on are these boots i always wanted pointy boots like this with a thinner heel i usually see the chunky heel with these types of boots so when i saw this i'm like this is the one this is the one i want let me try these on i'll actually bring the camera down so you guys could get a good view of this here are the boots on i did roll up my pants but i think that even with the pants, it could be cute. Hi loves, so I just changed, got dressed. It is a bit later on in the day. The sun is setting. I love this time of the day. My favorite time of the day is definitely sunset. I'm about to go to dinner. So I actually just discovered this Persian restaurant for the longest time. So it's right next to the mall that I usually go to. And for the longest time, I thought it was an Asian restaurant, a sushi restaurant. It just had that type of a feel to me. The name of the restaurant is Rice. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's an Asian restaurant, but typically with Persian restaurants, there's Persian writing, the, you can just tell. But the food is amazing. I've gone a couple times. Guys, 
so there was a little change of plans. We were walking by and we saw P.F. Chang's and we were like, let's go there instead. I was like, I told the vlog we're gonna go get Persian food. The Persian food spot is actually down the street. It's really, really close. But we just decided to go to P.F. Chang's instead. We ordered a whole bunch of food. So I just got home. I am ready to go to bed. I'm literally in a food coma And also I feel like today I've had my hair up and down up and down I, I, I couldn't decide I tried to put my hair up my hair is not super dirty right now Like it's not crazy oily, but I feel like when my hair gets a little oily and then I put it up It starts hurting the roots. Does that happen to you guys or is it just me? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This one was a little bit faster than my other vlogs usually with my other vlogs i spread it throughout a few days and this one was a day vlog so let me know which one you guys prefer or if you guys like them the same it will really help me and i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you next time bye loves me and my girls done for that you know what we gonna do i took two shots of the liquor one more round just on you Boy, 